Hi, my name is Peter Steinberg and I'm a urologist at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston. And I'd like to talk to you today about hydroseals and their treatment. A hydroseal is a benign swelling around the testicle. Uh, this happens uh, pretty commonly uh, and is seen in both newborns and children, often associated with a hernia. And in adults, it often shows up after either an injury or an infection, though sometimes can happen independently of those events as well. This is a benign condition, and often people are alarmed when the testicle appears swollen, rightly so, and get this evaluated to make sure you don't have a testicular cancer. However, this is a benign condition that will never become cancerous. It involves an overproduction or a poor clearance of fluid that normally is present in a really small amount around the testicle. So in normal circumstances, the testicle, which is suspended in the scrotum by something called the spermatic cord, has a few drops of fluid around it. A hydrocele is a situation where the testicle gets surrounded by a very large amount of fluid, again, due to things like injury or infection or often causes we don't understand. I kind of think of this like an egg where you have a shell and then you have an egg yolk and the hydrocele fluid is the egg white. This is a non-cancerous benign condition, but often people seek treatment when the hydrocele and the testicle start to swell and it becomes difficult during daily life, heavy, hard to wear underwear, hard to wear pants, hard to enjoy activities like biking or sitting. There are three options for dealing with a hydrocele. If they're not bothersome, observation is completely reasonable and consideration of treatment down the road if they get worse can certainly happen. There are two ways to intervene on a hydrocele. One way is to do a procedure that we do in the office where a needle is placed through the scrotum after numbing it up into the scrotum, the fluid is drained out, and then a drug is injected into this cavity to try to destroy future fluid production. That's something called the hydrocele sclerosis procedure. We do that in the office. It works about 50% of the time in permanently curing or greatly reducing the size of the hydrocele. The procedure's pretty low risk. You can drive yourself, there's no preparation. Uh, and again, it has about a 50-50 success rate. Recovery is not too bad after that procedure and there aren't a lot of risks, the main ones being bleeding or bruising around the testicle some discomfort or feeling like you've been kicked in the testicle uh, later the day of the procedure or in the couple of days after, though that's usually easily treated with Tylenol and Advil. And again, it works about half the time. So the biggest risk is that it won't work and you either need to repeat the procedure or consider having surgery down the road. The standard way of dealing with a hydrocele is to have a surgery called a hydroselectomy, where again, this hydrocele sac around the testicle is surgically opened in an operating room during a day surgery that takes about an hour. And then part of the sac is surgically excised. And then the edges of the sac are either sewn up or sewn back in a way where fluid will not reaccumulate. That surgery works about 90 to 95% of the time in terms of curing this issue. The big difference between that and the office procedure is the recovery is longer and more difficult after hydroselectomy, though that comes with the payoff of having a higher chance of cure at the end of recovery. I think most people need about four to six weeks of recovery after that procedure because there can be a lot of swelling in the scrotum, either due to bleeding or just typical post-operative swelling that can take a while to go away and can be uncomfortable. There is a chance of getting enough bleeding in the scrotum that you need a repeat intervention, such as us putting a needle into the scrotum to drain fluid, or even around 5% of the time requiring a repeat surgery to take care of residual fluid accumulation. Other risks of the surgery are obviously infection, although that's relatively low, and it would be unusual to damage the testicle to the point where it doesn't work or needs to be removed, but that is possible having that operation. So in summary, hydroseals are benign swelling of the scrotum that are pretty common in adults. Options for treatment are observation if they're not bothersome. And if they're bothersome, you can either undergo an office hydroseal sclerosis, which works about half the time and is a low risk procedure, or have a higher risk procedure in terms of difficult recovery that works about 90 to 95% in the operating room called a hydroselectomy. We'd be happy to see you in consultation uh, and further discuss your treatment options for you. Uh, feel free to reach us at 617-667-3739. Again, my name is Peter Steinberg, urologist at Beth Israel Deaconess in Boston. We look forward to helping you with this condition.